Hello everyone, this is Grand Arena, season 33, round 4. You can see we're in Chromium 1, we're pretty far above the skill rating, I think we'll need to take 3 losses to drop below back into Chromium 2. Uh, last round, last week was 3 wins in a row, so we moved up quite high. I suspect the opponents this week are going to get a lot harder. So let's have a look at the first one. Facing Zargo, Sith Eternal. Okay, two GLs. No alt on Luke. Either he's just got him or he's decided he doesn't want to put the alt on. I know JML is probably the least important alt of all the uh, Galactic Legends. So he's got the requirements. Uh, Imperial Troopers, Jedi Knight Revan, Wampa Omicron, CLS, Darth Revan, Seventh Sister. Is he going for Inquisitors or has he just got the uh, TIE Interceptor? He's got a very small gas there, just gear 10. Oh no, it looks like he's going for the Inquisitors, okay. So Grand Inquisitor might be. Uh, might be incoming on this account. Ha, huh, he's also got a Relic Chief Chirper, a Relic Hero, Relic Sabine. In fact, he's got all Relic Phoenix, isn't he? Okay. Um, all Relic Ewoks. Cool. Alright. Uh, so, 7.6 million. Oh, wait, it's the second sister who's the pilot of the uh, Interceptor anyway. It's not the... Who's that up here? Seventh. God, they're all so similar and nondescript, and no one cares about them. Um, so, 7.6 million. We are 3.9. General Skywalker, top of our roster, just unlocked Executor. Let's have a look at his ships. Let's take a look at the uh, capital ships first. Okay, so he's got a four-star executor, just like me. Malevolence, negotiator, empire, some sort of finalizer, some sort of rebels going on. Pilotless ships, all look to be built up. Pretty low gear on his uh, bounty hunters here. Razor Crest and Sandy Blood. Again, that's same for me. However, I am relicking them currently. So, hopefully it won't be long. That they're going to be a bit underwhelming. Relic Geos. A pretty good Galactic Republic, it looks like. Or decent enough Galactic Republic, yeah. And pretty good Empire as well. Alright, so he's got good fleets built out. Can't complain too much about them at all. Check his Datacrons quickly. Okay, nothing on Datacrons. Just take a look at speeds. Often a good way to tell how committed the player is. Geonosian Spy is his fastest character. Fastest non-GL. At 280. Okay. So, he's not really paying much attention to speeds. Let's have a look at his uh, Jedi Knight Anakin. Yeah, we're already down to 256. Okay. So speed is not something he's focused on. And look at that fleet he's using in Fleet Arena. Houndstooth, Ghost, and Millennium Falcon. Odd. Okay, let's look at the board. Alright, he's attacked. Just get rid of this one quickly. There we go. So he's attacked. Let's have a look at my front wall. I don't think anything's changed since last uh, last week. I really don't change him for 3v3. So General Skywalker, one shot. Bam, one shot. Savage, gear 10, two shot. 
I checked uh, last week my uh, .gg history, and the guy who failed um, in the first round of last week, the guy failed on Savage Gear 9 or whatever, and couldn't get through them at all. He'd taken Relic characters in, it was a stupid team, but it was like a HK, Relic 5, and then something else. Which is really interesting that even that's not doing enough damage to to Savage to get through him at gear 9. Okay, then we got Newt not holding, Grievous not holding, Geo is not holding. And the back wall, I'd be shocked to see anything here. Now it's all one shots. We got Phoenix, Ewoks, uh, Han Solo and Chewie. And then Poggle. Alright, let's look at ships. So is he leaving them? No, he's attacked. So he tried my executor, got out of Xanadu Blood, couldn't get through it. Tried my Empire and didn't even make a dent in that one. Huh. So I wonder what he's decided to take on offense. I'm guessing he's left his executor on defense. But if he has left his executor on defense, even his best second fleet, probably like Negotiator, I think I can get rid of it. Even in a two shot. So I probably don't have to worry too much about banners here. As long as I get through them. All right, what's he placed? Bounty Hunters. Shakti in like a team that literally will do no damage. Padme. Who's up top? CLS with Chewie, not Chupio. Okay. That's still a very good team. Darth Revan, no Malak. Jedi Knight Revan with Bastler, not her, not Grandmaster Yoda. Hmm. Alright, I think we're going to take bottom first, see what he's got in the back. I'm thinking we go for this Padme team. How much health has he got? He's got Tenacity mods. Huh. Okay. That is odd. Six speed mods on Jedi Knight Anakin. 72k health is still okay. 76% potency. I'm thinking of taking uh, Emphis Nest here. Seventy six percent potency on Padme. Okay. 57k health, so very low health patch. He's got tenacity mods in him, her as well. Hmm. So, I think if I take Nest, and she's only got, I think, 168% tenacity. 166. So I need to find 10% tenacity from somewhere. I think my Datacron will just do it. Yeah, 24.75%. Extra armor. Extra health steal. What was Jedi Anakin's offense like? Seven thousand eight hundred. Okay, I'm not too worried about that then. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. Would be nice to have, you know, Kira, Watt, but then I can't use a Datacron. So I think we're just going to try solo. Hopefully we don't time out.
Okay, so let's select Kenobi. And then probably just auto for a while. They're not going to be building up as many buffs as they would in uh, 5v5. Wow, that was a big hit. Okay, maybe we'll just do basics here, actually. Oh my god, that was close. Come on, Nest. There we go. All right, we're looking better from Health Steel. That's better. Okay, yeah, we're looking all right. Uh, let's keep going. Wait for Jedna Anakin's protection up to drop. And from to not have foresight. So not quite yet. It would be really great to have uh, Nesta Relic 7. Okay, just waiting for his for, for his uh, protection up to drop off. He's got offense up. It's pretty scary. Okay, 2 minutes 40 in. Feels like we haven't made any progress. But we are ramping up crit damage. Just need to be able to get a big crit in on... Uh, on Jedna Anakin here. Really need to go for him first, otherwise he's gonna get a bonus turn and just kill me. Okay, let's see what this does. Oh, almost. Okay, that has got rid of his protection, which is good. Uh, he won't recover that under Padme. Okay, let's keep going. Here we go. Jedi Anakin out. Now we're just going to go for Padme. Sure, let's start uh, eating away at her protection. Get rid of that protection. That's fine, we'll keep hitting Kenobi for a bit. Hopefully get to a point where she drops her uh, protection up. Wow, that was a big hit. Oh, she just got her protection up back. Okay. One minute left. Maybe do just hit her. Oh, we're hitting pretty hard. Here we go. 30 seconds left. And Evans Ness wins it. 68 banners. Got pretty dicey in there. Definitely would be nice to have uh, higher relics. But that was pretty successful. Can't really complain. Okay. Let's try and get rid of these teams. 
So, bounty hunters. What can we use here? Let's check speeds. How fast is Bosk? 195, okay. Boba. 248. And Django's 237. Okay, so we could potentially use EP Mara Jade here. We will go first. But if we don't stun Boba, then we probably just die. Hmm, what other options do we have? My uh, Bosk team will probably just die. They'll ignore taunt and use a rocket to kill one of the uh, smaller guys. Troopers I need to save for Darth Revan, I think. Night Sisters just get killed. Um, Boba Fett, maybe. Probably not, though. Qui-Gon I want to save for Jedi Revan. Alright, so it's really between Shakti, Vader, E.P. Mara Jade. Can't really see what else works here. I think I'm going to give E.P. Mara a go. Obviously quite scary if we uh, if we don't land that stun, just probably have an immediate loss. Alright, let's give this one a go. Okay, we go first, I'm gonna give this to Mara Jade. I'm gonna stun Boba Fett. Perfect. Please land a stagger. Excellent. Oh, we didn't actually stagger him, okay. Please land shock. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to fracture him here. Who needs shocking? Mark Jade will go first. Sure, we'll try and stun Bosk. Excellent. Try and get staggers out this time. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's just... Let's just hit you. Take away your turn meter. See if we can get some two turn stuns. Okay, that's one. Pass the turn over to Mara Jade. See if we can get a stun over here. All right, much better. Let's see if we can start working on Boba. Is he staggered? No, he was not. Okay, let's see if we can get a two-turn stun on him. Perfect. And what I don't want to do is I don't want to kill Boba here because he'll get his second life. So I'm going to wait for him to take a turn, I think. Actually, this will take away his turn meter. So let's do it here. Perfect. RJ should have a stun back up already. Here we go. Alright, that's great. Let's just leave him 
B for a second. Does he have stagger? Yeah, he does. We'll wait a bit to pop that. Okay, we'll do that now. Alright, we're at pretty much full turn meter. Sure, this is probably just going to kill Boba Fett in a second. I think what I'll do is I'll just kill these two. Boba, then Bosk. And then I can probably just fracture him. Hmm. Don't want him to take a turn. Let's get stagger on him. No stagger. Perfect. Kill him, get shock, get fracture. Perfect, 57. So definitely a little bit RNG at the start. Landing that stun with Mara Jade. If we don't land it, then we're pretty much dead in the water. How do we kill this Jedi team? It's got absolutely no damage. Decent amount of recovery. I think maybe we can just send in Bosk here. How fast are they? They're not fast, are they? She has got crit damage mods, okay. Hoda won't be the weakest, will he? Hoda's got quite a lot of health and protection, I think. Uh, what is that, like 130k? It'll almost certainly be Shakti. Yeah. I don't think she gives herself. Yeah, for each clone trooper ally, she gains stats, doesn't she? Okay. So we should be fine just hitting her. We'll get the taunt up. And we'll go from there. There we go, mass assist. Uh, one more. Ability blocks, okay. Taunt's okay. Uh, can't ignore taunt right now. That's fine. Keep going. Sure, just give turn meter. Taunt staying up because they've got protection, or the weakest has protection. Interesting. Old Ben's just become the weakest. I wonder why that is. Whatever. We can still hit him. Perfect. Reapply taunt. Um, who's the first one to go? Probably just old Ben. These two will just keep healing each other. Shakti and Hoda. Keep that protection full. Alright, now we're just going to go for crits. Reduce the cooldown of the uh, Annihilate. Come on Shakti, heal yourself. There you go. There we go, that should be the Annihilate off cooldown. Mm. 
Yeah, another max banner win. Great. Let's go see what's on this back wall. Oh wow, a lot of relics. Wow, a lot of relics. Not the best teams. But it definitely might be more than I can handle. I think I'm going to go up top here. Work on these teams first. Let's, um... Let's see if we can get the CLS out. So I'm thinking one of my only real options here is probably going to be this Iden team. And I wonder who I want to kill first. So Chewie's assists are nice because we're going to keep regaining health and protection every time he assists. But his AoE will do so much damage, so I think we need to keep him under control. Get him out first. Let's see, this is really one of my only options. Okay, so I'm going to go for the stun on Chewbacca. There we go. Yep, you're welcome to keep hitting Aiden. Let's just keep going after Chewie. It's fine, I don't really want the taunt up. Okay, there it goes. All right, this is kind of scary. This is very scary. <laughs> okay, so that didn't go well. That might just be the match right there. I think all that exposed damage was just too much. Hmm. All right, let's go for Jedi Knight Revan. We might be able to come in and beat that still. Probably not a great idea to have left it preloaded. Should have backed out of that one. Let's bring Qui-Gon here. Pray he doesn't mark Jedi Knight Anakin. Because that would get pretty dicey. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do the AoE. Just going to do a basic. He marked your knight Anakin. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, what we got here? I'm just going to dispel. Sure, I'll stun here. Okay, Mark on Mace Windu is probably a lot better. Let's dispel the Foresight, call Jenna Anakin to assist. One more. Still haven't got rid of Savior yet. That's uh, not ideal. Let's see if we can hit over here. That didn't do very much. Okay, I'm going to hit Jedi Knight Revan. Hopefully Anakin goes next. Oh, God. Oh, and there's the mark again. That's pretty scary. Oh, dear. This is really bad. I've just popped save here. And he's marked us down. And that's probably the end of it. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah, probably not getting through this one then. Let's keep going. Probably just going to use troopers here. It does feel a bit expensive for a not particularly good team. Put the great crop on. Okay, we're going to mark up Dark Trooper. Just going to call the Master Sister over on Bastler. There we go, she's gone. See if we can punch out Darth Revan. There we go. Maybe I should use troopers up against Jedi Revan. Qui Gon here. It might have been more sensible. All right, let's see what we can do down bottom. I can't with anything I've got left over. Hardest team down here is probably going to be the troopers. So maybe I throw a Padme at that. Do I need Datacron? Sure, some dodge, why not? Okay, let's go straight after Pierre. Okay, let's cleanse. Not doing a massive amount of damage here. But they're not doing too much to us either. The mass assist seems a bit pointless. I don't want to do much. Okay. Twelve stacks. Oh, almost. Try one more time. Oh, Soko is dazed. It's pretty irritating. Okay. Let's get protection up. Oh, this is getting pretty dicey as well, isn't it? Okay, we got the heal coming up with Padme. Perfect. 10 stacks. Let's just get rid of him. Yes. Okay, Pierre's now kind of supercharged. We've got 10 stacks. Let's just get rid of Veers. I think we should be able to kill uh, Pierre. There we go, heal. Alright, what else can we do down here? What's the, uh... Well, 
Maybe I'll try Jedi Knight Revan. There's not much for me to lose, is there? Let's give it a go. Let's give Jedi Knight Revan a go with Shakti. Don't have a Datacron. Maybe should have saved it for this one. Gonna leave Vader's. Maybe see if he can kill CLS. I'd rather get through to ships. Maybe there's a chance he took his executor on offense and mirrored. So I could still possibly win this. It seems pretty unlikely, but we'll give it a go. Okay, they are doing far too much damage. Do the Master Assist over on Jedi Knight Riven. Big hit from Echo. Kind of a small hit from Echo. Hmm. Okay, he's marked. Um, I probably need to heal him up then. He's going to be taking some more damage. Shakti with the, uh, with the Savior Pop. Okay, oh, he's already dead. Wow. All right, I'm just gonna give the mass assist here. Yeah, this is going pretty poorly, isn't it? I really need to get rid of Jolie, but it's probably not gonna happen. Yeah, stun. Yeah, there he goes. All right. Looks like we're just not getting through this top ball. I'd like to see if Vader wins here. I will take a pre-taunt. Because they're all preloaded. Okay. It's ability block on Luke. This is looking pretty okay. Gonna go here, gonna throw the saber. There we go. Yeah, I think it's just unfortunate that we won't be able to kill this Jedi Riven. Really would like to see what he has in ships, but. got too many things on defense. How many more teams do we have left? Looks like about three. Let's see, we got Gear 11, Bastler and Grandmaster Yoda. Night Sisters. Boba Fett. Yeah, and that's it. Alright, so maybe we just try and clear out this back wall. I don't think any of this is going to kill um, Jedi Knight Revan. So, realistically, if I want to try and clear the back wall, I'm going to have to try and bring Grandmaster Yoda here. Which is kind of scary. Yeah, this is my uh, this is my only option. It 
Let's give this a go. Not sure about speeds. Okay, so the annoying thing about Sarge is that she is just going to strip our buffs. So I'd like her to go first, ideally. There we go. Okay, we'll evade this. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Let's get a bonus turn. Uh, she's going to call the mass assist next. That's pretty scary. Let's see if I can get a stun on her. Remove the turn meter, that's okay. Let's see if we can get a stun over here. Okay, zombie's going to taunt again. I think I might save the buffs. Ooh, stun, that's pretty scary actually. They're getting a lot of plague on us now. Let's spread the buffs. And we are just getting hammered by plague right now. What does this do? Health equalization. Yeah, let's do that. She's gonna hit us with more play. Ten stacks of plague. <laughs> My god. Alright, looks like we have just lost this one. Yeah, that's that one done. What should we try next? Where should we use Night Sisters? Maybe here. There won't be a lot of recovery. Maul has got days. That's the only scary part. Do I bring in Assage or do I bring in Zombie? That's the question. I don't think they'll have much recovery. So this is probably okay. Alright, nice damage over times. I'm actually going to try and get a stun on Maul. That was good. Stun here. Perfect. Um... Why don't we just put Tenacity down on Marauder? Here we go, get lots of Plague out. Stun on Maul. Stun on you. And he's just recovered a ton of health. And I can't remember why. <laughs> What's in his kit that makes him do that? Okay, no stun. He's gonna do his AoE days. That's gonna be pretty scary. Oh my god, he got healing immunity. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what to do here. I probably need to heal. Or like, bring back. Oh jeez. Okay, well. It's just me getting absolutely wrecked by a... Uh, pretty bad full relic teams all right we'll try one more and then that's the end of this one pretty disappointing that my uh maybe should have brought troopers against Jedi Knight Revan because that Darth Revan team wasn't particularly special
Right, so the scary thing here, obviously Thrawn's Fracture. Let's see if we can ability block it. Okay, get some grenades out. Get some more out. All right. Maybe a stun. Perfect. There's a lot of uh, turn meter removal here. Okay, fracture. Get some more bombs. Rocket. And then, well, let's see how much damage we do here. That's pretty good. Try and get a stun. There we go. More grenades. Well, not pretty, but we got through one team at least. Alright, well, this one's looking like a pretty bad loss. But we have pushed our way up uh, maybe a little bit too high. Too many strong teams on defense. He was able to take two GLs on offense. Don't think there's much I can do about that one. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.